Classic Movie News for your update on today's entertainment for the classic movie fan. See you in May. Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. We're going to follow the Elvis satire of our last movie, Bye Bye Birdie, with the real deal, Elvis himself. And truth be told, many consider this next film to be the best one that the king of rock and roll ever made. It's Jailhouse Rock from 1957, which is also the first film Elvis made for MGM, the studio in which he found a very comfortable home base for several years, making a total of 12 feature films there. It's also the company that released his later to concert films. At the time he made our movie, Elvis was already a mammoth star, and MGM was exceptionally happy to have him at the studio. So when he arrived there, MGM gave him the royal treatment. They even gave him Clark Gable's old dressing room, expensively refurbished, meaning that the dressing room of the man once known from 1938 forward as Hollywood's king was now being used by the king of rock and roll. And that absolutely delighted and stunned Elvis. In fact, some time ago, we talked to Elvis's longtime friend, George Klein, about Elvis being at MGM. Well, George said that when Elvis first went into Gable's dressing room, he was dumbstruck that he was given that room to use, the room that Clark Gable himself had used for years. That Gable sat in those rooms and hung out in that same space. George also said that Elvis loved making films and took the whole process very seriously. He always showed up on the first day of work, not only knowing his own lines, but everybody else's lines as well. Being prompt was a matter of principle for him in those days. He'd be there on time and ready to work. I'm only sorry that they didn't often give Elvis scripts worthy of that talent he had, or a challenge to that talent. There were too many films with titles like Harem Scarum, Double Trouble, Girls, 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 and not enough like this movie we're about to bring you. So here's the king of rock and roll, charismatic as ever, along with a very pretty and very promising young actress who, sad to say, died in a car crash only a few days after filming on this movie had been completed. Her name, Judy Tyler. So here from 1957, directed by Richard Thorpe, Jailhouse Rock.